because I believe in the new. Anyway, who, who are you going now? Somebody said my name. What, Julian? All right. So um, this poem is a golden shovel, which is a form. So basically, the N words spell out something on the right hand side, and it basically spells out Emmett's mother is a pretty face thing. The tint of pulled taffy, she sits within a red room drinking coffee. She kisses her killed son. And it's from a poem by Gwendolyn Brooks. So it's like this whole project where people are doing poems based off the lines of doing that. Many sons, many mothers for the people outside tonight after Gwendolyn Brooks. When a boy named Trayvon is shot, Emmett's history is not distant removed story. A mother fails to reverberate hollow in chests. A woman is stoic, vigilant, when she should be proud, doting. A parent with lullabies for children to come, pretty-faced affirming nods to the future, dollops of hope. Not thing nor animal unless in front of a gun that dims, dulls the dusk across a boy's cheeks, matching the tint of his untainted eyes that whistle falsetto the song of bittersweet. Loss has yet to be mine, but it is pulled from his clockwork heart, sped by fear, snatched like taffy in a shoplifter's greedy pocket. And when the mother is left, she becomes banshee in a soundproof band shell. A wailing sits at the top of her range of fury. The, fear, the sharp piercing within sparks the dead boy's face. There is nothing but a sea of heads shrouded in hoodies. There should be red still pulsing in him as he chews candy, sips tea with room left for dinner. Instead, there is a mother alone drinking water. She cannot eat. She replenishes conviction, a coffee that keeps her purpose clear. She knows exactly what she must do. If she cannot open the casket, she testifies kisses the memories of many suns gone, not just the flicker of her days extinguished, found waterlogged or unidentified, killed despite his screams that ignore the spark who was called son. Mm -hmm.